Hi students, today we will see class 12, Sociology, chapter 6, The Challenges of Cultural Diversity, part 2. When Victor's Apologies, box 6.1, it is not uncommon for the losing side in a war to be forced to apologize for the bad things that is that it did. It is only rarely that the winners accept that they were guilty of wrongdoing. However, in recent times there have been many such examples from around the world. Nations or communities that were on the winning side or that are still in a dominant position or beginning to accept that they have been reason responsible for the grave injustice in the past and are seeking to apologize to the affected communities. In Australia, there has been a long debate on an official apology from the Australian nation in bracket where the majority of the population today is of white European origin to the descendants of the native people who were the original inhabitants of the possibly colonized land. Most state governments in Australia have paused some variant of the following apology resolution. We, the peoples of Australia of many origins, as we are, make the commitment to go on together in a spirit of recolonization, recognition, reconciliation. We value the unique status of Aboriginal and the Torres Strait, Strait Islanders peoples as the original owners and custodians, custodians of lands and water. Custodians of lands and water. We re recognize this land and its waters were settled as colonies without the treaty or consent. Our nation must have the courage to own the truth, to heal the wounds of its past so that we can move on together at peace with ourselves. As we walk the journey of healing, one part of the nation apologizes and expresses its sorrow and sincere and sincere regret for the injustice of the past. So other part accepts the apologies and forgives. And so we pledge ourselves to stop injustice, overcome disadvantage and respect that of original and terrors straight islanders people have the right to self-determination within the life of the nation. In the United States of America, there has been a long-standing debate about the apologies to the national American community in bracket the original inhabitants of the land driven out by war and to the black community in bracket brought as the slaves from Africa. No consensus has been reached yet. In Japan, official policy has long recognized the need to apologize, apologize for the atrocities of war and colonization during the periods when Japan occupied the parts of the occupied the parts parts of the East Asia including Korea and the parts of China. 
द मोस्ट रीजेंट अपॉलॉजी इज फ्रॉम यार फिफ्टींथ ऑगस्ट टू थाउजेंड फाइव फिफ्टींथ ऑगस्ट टू थाउजेंड फाइव स्पीच बाय प्राइम मिनिस्टर जूनियो चोरो कोई जुमी जुमी चोरो कोई जुमी इन द पास्ट जापान थ्रू इज कॉलोनिकल रूल एंड अग्रशन अग्रशन कॉस्ट ट्रिमेंडस डैमेज एंड सफरिंग टू द पीपल ऑफ मेनी कंट्रीज पर्टिकुलरली टू दो ऑफ एशियन नेशंस सिंसियरली फेसिंग दीज फैक्ट्स ऑफ हिस्ट्री I once again express my feelings of deep remorse and heartfelt apology and also express the feelings of mourning mourning for all victims both at home and abroad in the war I am determined not to allow the lessons of that horrible war to erode and to contribute to contribute to the peace and the prosperity of the world without ever again waging a war similar debates have gone on in south africa where a white minorities was in power and brutally oppressed the black majority consisting of the native population in britain as well there has been public discussion on whether the nation should apologize for its role in colonialism or in promoting slavery interestingly the later issue has also been taken up by cities for example the port city of bristol debated whether the city council should pass a resolution apologizing for the role that bristol played in the slave trade activity 6.2 read the box 6.1 carefully what purpose do you think such apologies severe after all after all the actual victims and the actual exploiters oppressors may be long dead they cannot be compensated or punished then for whom and for what reason are such apologies offered or debated can you think of other can you think of other examples where anonymous ordinary people ordinary people in bracket that is people who are not famous or powerful who are no longer living or remembered celebrated or honored in a public way what purpose is served by memorials and momentums like for example the india gate moment in delhi in bracket to whom is the monument dedicated if you don't know try to find out think about the kind of apology mentioned in box 6.1 in the indian contest if you were asked to pro- propose such a thing which groups or communities do you think we as a nation should apologize to discuss this in class and try to reach a consensus what are the arguments and counter arguments given for various candidates group did you did your opinion on such apologies change after the class discussion thank you sharing is caring comment your thought subscribe for more knowledge